Have you ever wondered what those kicks and jabs actually mean? Or why does your baby decide to throw a little dance party at the most unexpected times? Well, stick around, because we're about to uncover some awesome facts about babies kicking in the belly that will leave you in awe. All right, let's start by understanding why babies kick in the first place. Contrary to what you might think, those kicks aren't just random movements. They're actually a crucial part of your baby's development. During pregnancy, babies start moving as early as eight weeks, but it's around 16, 25 weeks when those kicks start becoming more noticeable. These movements are essential for muscle development, bone strength, and even brain function. So, the next time you feel those tiny taps, know that your little one is busy flexing those muscles and preparing for the outside world. But here's the fascinating part. Babies don't just kick for physical development. They also use those movements to communicate with you. Yes, you mom! Research suggests that babies can actually respond to external stimuli by kicking. So, if you're singing to your bump or gently rubbing your belly, don't be surprised if you get a little kick in response. It's like having your own secret language with your baby before they even arrive. Now, let's decode those kicks. Have you ever noticed that sometimes your baby's movements feel more like rolls, while other times they're sharp jabs? Well, each type of kick can tell you something about your baby's health and development. For example, gentle rolling movements might indicate that your baby is simply adjusting their position, while sudden jabs could mean they're reacting to something external, like a loud noise or a sudden change in temperature. Understanding these cues can help you feel more connected to your baby and even give you peace of mind knowing that they're doing just fine in there. Speaking of connection, did you know that feeling your baby kick can strengthen the bond between you and your partner? Many dads-to-be report feeling a sense of wonder and amazement when they feel their baby kick for the first time. It's a beautiful reminder that they're about to embark on this incredible journey of parenthood together. So don't hesitate to invite your partner to join in on the baby kicking experience. It's a moment you'll both cherish forever. And now, let's wrap up with some fun facts about baby kicking that will leave you smiling from ear to ear. Did you know that babies can start hiccuping in the womb as early as nine weeks? Yep, those little hiccups you feel aren't just cute. They're a sign that your baby's diaphragm is developing. And here's another one. Babies can kick up to 30 times an hour. Talk about being active little ones. So next time you feel like your baby is throwing a mini dance party in your belly, just know that they're getting their daily workout in. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the science behind those kicks. As your baby grows, they're surrounded by amniotic fluid, which acts as a cushion and allows them to move freely. These movements aren't just random. They're helping your baby develop essential motor skills and coordination. Plus, did you know that your baby's kicks can also give you valuable information about their health? Medical professionals often use fetal movement as an indicator of your baby's well-being. So if you notice a decrease in movement or any sudden changes, it's important to contact your healthcare provider right away. Now, let's address a common concern among expectant moms. When should you start feeling your baby kick? Well, every pregnancy is different, but most moms-to-be start feeling those first flutters, also known as quickening, between 16, 25 weeks. At first, these movements might feel like butterflies or bubbles, but as your baby grows, they'll become more distinct and recognizable. And don't worry if you're not feeling much movement early on. It's perfectly normal. In fact, first-time moms often take longer to notice their baby's kicks compared to moms who've been through pregnancy before. So be patient and trust that those kicks will come in due time. Now, let's talk about some tips for encouraging baby movement. If you're eager to feel those kicks, there are a few things you can try. First, find a comfortable position, preferably lying on your left side, as this allows for optimal blood flow to your uterus. Next, grab a snack or a cold drink and see if that gets your baby moving. Sometimes, a little stimulation from the outside world is all it takes to wake them up. You can also try talking or singing to your bump. Your baby can hear your voice and might respond with some kicks and wiggles of their own. And don't forget to pay attention to your baby's active times. Some babies are more active in the morning, while others prefer the evening. Lastly, let's address a common myth about baby kicking. The idea that a quiet baby means a sleepy or lazy baby. This couldn't be further from the truth. While it's true that babies have active and restful periods, a decrease in movement can sometimes indicate a problem. So if you notice a significant change in your baby's kicking pattern, Patterns, or if you're concerned about their movements, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your baby's health and well-being. As your baby grows inside you, you'll feel more and more kicks. These kicks can be like little memories being made. At first, they might feel like gentle flutters, like butterflies in your belly. But as time
time goes on, they become stronger, almost like they're saying hello to you. Each kick is special. It's a reminder that you're on an amazing journey, bringing a new life into the world. Sometimes those kicks can be so strong that they take your breath away, filling you with wonder and excitement. It's a good idea to write down these moments. You can keep a journal where you record how you feel when you feel those kicks. You can write about the first time you felt your baby move and how it made you smile. You can also jot down any thoughts or hopes you have for the future. Recording your feelings can help you remember this special time later on. You can look back and cherish those memories of when your baby was still growing inside you. It's like creating a little treasure chest full of precious moments that you can revisit whenever you want. As your pregnancy progresses and those kicks become more frequent, take some time to write down your thoughts and feelings. It's a simple way to capture the magic of this incredible journey you're on. Keeping track of your baby's kicks isn't just a fun activity. It's also an important way to monitor their health. Healthcare providers often recommend doing kick counts regularly, especially in the third trimester, to ensure your baby is active and healthy. It's as simple as setting aside some quiet time each day to focus on feeling those movements. All right, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today, from the science behind baby kicking to tips for encouraging movement and what to do if you're concerned about your baby's kicks. But before we go, let's take a moment to appreciate the miracle of life growing inside you. Those kicks and jabs may sometimes feel surprising or even uncomfortable, but they're a beautiful reminder of the incredible journey you're on. The journey of bringing a new life into this world. So embrace those kicks, cherish those moments, and know that you're part of something truly extraordinary. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to subscribe for more exciting updates on pregnancy and parenthood. Until next time, keep feeling those kicks and embracing the miracle of life. Bye for now.